What's going on guys? I am back with another video and today we are going to do a thrift haul. <laughs> so I decided to visit a thrift store that I had never been to before, didn't really know what they had, what their prices were, just walked in blind. Um, and I was pleasantly surprised at everything that I found. They had amazing deals, name brand stuff, brands I hadn't even heard of before, worth a lot of money. Um, so yeah, I want to show you guys everything that I found and what kind of goodies I got. So yeah, let's get right into it. Okay guys, let's get right into it and talk about this amazing thrift store. So I walked in, um, very clean, and I didn't really see any prices on any of the clothes. They had um, like tags on them, but they didn't really have like any information, like they had an L on it for large, that was it. So I didn't really know what I was getting into. I started just kind of grabbing some things and then when I found someone that worked there, um, I just asked them, hi, can you tell me what your clothing prices are? And I was blown away. She said $1.50 for everything and then green tags were 75 cents. And recently when I've been going into thrift stores, I've been <laughs> really disheartened because their prices are just getting really, inc really crazy with inflation. So I was really excited to see that I had found a thrift store that was, in my opinion, more like a thrift store. So let's get into it. Let's go ahead and start with the shoes. Um, this is not a chain thrift store. This is local to my area. I think it's actually like a uh, like a mission thrift store. So it's ran by like a local church. Um, but I picked up these adorable heels. They are rag and bone. It has a chunky heel, two straps, and it does. One of them does have the sticker still on it, and it does say the upper is leather. The lining is leather and the sole is leather and other materials. Um, so it is a great shoe, really good condition, so stinking cute. I had never heard of this brand before, and I'm sure if you are watching this and you know what this brand is, then you're gonna find out as well, like I did, um, that these are pretty expensive heels. Um, they're not your most expensive heels, but I did look up comps for this brand, and there are some shoes selling around 180, 200, 400. Um, it really just kind of depends on what kind of condition they are in. I am gonna wipe these down, but other than that, they're in really good condition. I still have the sticker on one of them. So yeah, I think I could probably, I'm gonna try to price them higher, but I want to try and find this specific style before I do that. But yeah, I'm really stoked about these. And I got them for, I think the shoes were a dollar. I think they, they weren't the clothing prices. I just can't remember exactly what they were. Um, and then the next pair of shoes that I got are these super cute like loafer mules. They are Talbots. Wrong way. Sorry. <laughs> they are really cute. They have like the little tassel on them. They are adorable. They're in really good condition. Got leather sole, leather uppers. They are just so cute. I think these are like a size six. Yeah, size six. Um, I think I could probably get like 35 out of these. They're in really good condition. Definitely kind of go with that like, I don't know, like grandma core kind of vibe really cute. If they were in my size, I'd probably wear them. <laughs> so those, I I didn't really see many comps on Talbot's uh, mules, so I don't really know exactly how well they'll sell, but normally my vintage um, or like Grandma Cory stuff sells really, really good and fast for me. I was really excited to find this skirt. I love a good vintage skirt. I love finding them, I love picking them up, and I love it even more when they have this specific logo. This is the Women's Union logo. Get that open there, okay. You guys can see that. And basically there was the Women's Union back, gosh, you guys, I'm not good at this, the timing wise, but I think like in the 50s, uh, it was really prominent, 70s, 60s, up until the 90s, they had this logo for the Women's Union, um, and I don't really know that much else about it. Uh, 
But yeah, so this was um, the Women's Union Worker Maid. Um, it is miles port, dry clean only. It doesn't have a material tag, but I think it's safe to say that this is 100% wool. It feels like it, but I just loved the buttons on it. It is so cute. I think I'm going to try to get, what did I put on here? Like 50 to 60. That's what I'm going to list it for. We'll see what we can get from it. Love that. Okay, so this is another brand that I don't really know anything about. It's um, Chloe and Katie. And I picked it up because it has that kind of like grungy feel. Um, it has like some paint splatter on it, but then it also has some, let's see if I can get it here, some like holes on it. So it's distressed. I don't know. It just had that like kind of like soft feel and I don't know I think it'll sell really well I think it'll go fast especially because it's getting into the colder months and it is like more of a sweatshirt material probably put that down for like 15 to 20 okay next we got this beautiful thing gosh it's so long I don't even think I can get it all on the camera but it is this handmade me and the lady that worked there decided it was handmade because we couldn't find a tag long maxi skirt I mean look at this fabric it is gorgeous oh my god it's just so beautiful I <laughs> I love this skirt so much it just spoke to me it's so pretty I don't I don't want to part with it but I'm gonna sell it and I don't know how much I should sell it for I think maybe like 50. I think I could list it because it's handmade. We'll see what we can get out of it. I was super excited to find this. My notebook fell. <laughs> I was super excited to find this skirt because it is going along with that like dark academia style velvet long rose skirt. It is so pretty and soft. It's by like Impressions. Yeah, Impressions, I think, which is just, it's not like a, I don't know exactly what it is, but it's not like a big brand or anything like that. But when I looked it up, it does have like a slit in it as well. When I looked it up, um, Urban Outfitters was popping up, so I know that they've made a few like this that kind of mimicked that vintage 90s vibe. So I think we could probably get like 35, 40 out of this just because it does have that 90s Y2K vibe slash the like academia too. You guys, they had so many different styles of like vintage like 90s clothes. I felt like I was going back into my wardrobe a little bit <laughs> back from like the early 2000s and I had to pick these up because I just feel like they'll sell really well. They are um, a pair of Old Navy vintage uh, cargo khakis. So you got your pockets <laughs> super long, low rise, like so <laughs> so low I think that rise is maybe like five inches yeah like super low rise yeah those will definitely sell pretty well um, you have all sorts of like your utility like little tabs little belt so you can like cinch it yeah I think these will sell really well I think I'm gonna post them for like 35 and we'll see what we can get I also think oh my god <laughs> Yeah, so this is how you know these are like true 90s. I'm just finding this out. Hold on, let me put the tab on it. So they have <laughs> they have the buttons down below and then inside the pant, they have that little like tab on the inside kind of like flannels do for your arms and it goes around the button. So that's how you know like those are like true 90s pants if they can turn into shorts or capris. Do you guys remember <laughs> like uh, track pants um, they had the zippers like underneath the uh, knee so you could unzip them and turn your pants into shorts what a time to be alive am I right <laughs> so 
so crazy. Um, so then I picked up this other pair of kind of like cargo style ruffle pants, except this is a more modern brand and it's Chelsea and Violet. I couldn't, I can't remember if this is like a Macy's. I looked it up, but yeah, they don't really sell very well. Now, I didn't really feel comfortable looking up comps in the store just because it was so cheap in there. I just didn't feel like it was worth it because I felt like I was getting more than enough, you know, because their prices were so low. I was like, I'm going to profit from these no matter what, in my opinion. So I didn't really look up comps. They're still really cute. They have a drawstring. They have back pockets and front pockets and the side cargo pockets. I'm probably gonna list these for like 15 or 20, but I'm not really hoping for much else, honestly. So I got that. This I just thought was really unique and cute. I prefer like my niche. I really want it to be in the more vintage um, 90s kind of style. I do like picking up modern stuff and I know that it sells really well. Um, but I like having that like unique, weird stuff that you know normally people would just pass by at the thrift store. I love those pieces. So um, I got this vest. It's really cute. Um, it has just like embroidery all around it. It's like a knit, like a jersey knit, and then it also has this tie on the back so you can cinch it if you would like it to be more fitting. I think it's adorable. It has little buttons it's so cute i'm probably just gonna list this for like 15 or 20. um i didn't really find much on this brand suburbans definitely a vintage brand now this piece it has before i show you the whole thing i'll show you kind of what's wrong with it i'm gonna try to fix it before i list it but it has these little things that are coming off i'm either gonna try to stitch them back on or fabric glue and then just like list it in the description but this periwinkle like lilac color I just couldn't leave it there because it was just so unique and cute super 80s look at how cute that is it has like the ribbed fabric it has like a v-neck embroidery with like crystals on it it is adorable. <laughs> I kind of want to keep it. Ugh, that happens to me every time I just pick up such cute stuff. It's just adorable, okay? And, oh, okay. I thought it was really 80s and 90s for a second because I thought this lining was like fabric glue. Because, you know, a lot of things had fabric glue. I mean, not fabric glue. Um, that like puff paint <laughs> on shirts back in the day. Okay guys, so on to the next one. We got this Anna, um, which is a JCPenney's house brand. I, I couldn't tell if this was vintage, like 90s, early 2000s JCPenney's. And I'm pretty sure it is. I just don't know how long Anna has been around. Um, so I picked it up because it is screaming early 2000s vibes at me. Mainly because of that fabric on the inside. You don't really find that like weird paisley, I don't know, like natural tones like that in blazers anymore. And the whole vibe that's just going on here. So you got these buttons. Let's see if I can get it up without it opening. Here we go. You got these buttons. The waist is very like 90s, early 2000s. It's like a corduroy fabric. It's just very 90s, 2000s. But I could see this paired with um, one of those like Paris like style hats and um, a pair of like low-rise jeans and a cute like tank top or something like very Lizzie McGuire-esque um, with this and I just thought it was too cute. I did not want to leave it there. So probably list that for about like 25. I need to do more research on it because I'm pretty sure this is from like the 90s, 2000s, but so many brands are coming out with like that style. You never know. Next up, I was so excited to find this because I love finding like grungy, dirty, like bands, like that kind of like band stuff, band tees. 
Now this screams vintage to me just because of the neckline. Um, normally like vintage tees have this thicker t-shirt band um, and the way that it like feels, it just feels more vintage to me than like a newer shirt. I don't know if it actually is or if it's just been like washed a bunch of times, you know, like that kind of vibe. But either way, this is a really cute, somebody cropped it, Vans t-shirt. So I'm probably going to list this for like 25. I know it'll sell really well. Um, I don't know if it'll do well on Poshmark or Mercari, so I'll probably list that on Depop and see what I can find. Now, oh my god, you guys. <laughs> I didn't intentionally leave this for like the middle, but I passed by this probably twice in the store and then I was thumbing through like I go through <laughs> like the middle aisles and I have a like a rack of clothes on this side of me and then I have a rack on this side so I'll flip through this side and then I'll turn around and flip through the side behind me <laughs> and I looked back and I was like wait a second what is that and I am so happy can you guys see what that is can you see that okay I don't know if you can see that, you guys, but it's Lululemon, okay? I bought this shirt for $1.50, and it's Lululemon. This is a... I found it, and I took a screenshot of it. It's a $58, like, activewear shirt. I looked back because this felt... It almost feels like the, um, like super soft the sexy American Eagle line and I was like that feels like too good to like leave here like just the feel of the fabric felt like a really great quality fabric so that's what made me want to go back and look at it but then when I saw the Lululemon logo I was like okay so this actually is a good fabric um but I I think I'm going to list it for 35 and the reason is because this is gone so the tag is actually gone but I know the tag is missing but I know it can save me because that emblem on the back their logo is still back there so it is in perfect condition it's super soft I've never owned Lululemon before so I'm even like almost tempted to want to keep it for myself but I think I could get 35 out of it even though the tag is missing it's super cute and soft okay so this is another brand that I had never heard of and it is Motto Doc, I think is how you say it. And actually, this is a pretty expensive brand. Um, when I was looking it up, you can buy it off of, um, it starts with the Z. I can't remember the online name um, for the store. But it, they sell in high-end department stores um, like Nordstrom's. Zappos, I think is maybe what it's called. I can't remember. I'll link it. Um, but anyways, these just like looked like a high quality black linen pant, mainly because when I like I was feeling them and they felt really thick. But then when I looked inside of the pant leg, they're double lined. So I was like, those have to be like a decent size, like a, I mean, a decent brand. So I grabbed them. They're a size small. They're like a loose fit linen trouser, can't say that word, trouser <laughs> pant. Um, and these are like $180 pants. So I'm going to see, I'm going to do some more research before I list them, but I'm thinking I can list them for maybe like 100 They don't look like they've been worn, so I could probably pass them off as new without tags. But we'll look and see. <laughs> I was super excited to find this. Um... This is a pair of 3X biker shorts, but not only that, they are Adidas. And this is a really, really good pair of biker shorts. Um, I'm trying to find their logo, because I just, there it is, okay. Um, this is like the active material, that like spandexy type of feel. Um, not see-through at all. It's just a really good, really good feel. And then these are like, it's like a grippy kind of feel to it. These sell for, I think, around like $65.70. So I'm probably going to list them for like $30, $35. They also don't look like they've really been worn either, which is amazing. We love that. 
Now these two last items, I wasn't going to include them because I thought I was going to keep them for myself. But then, <laughs> when I tried on these pants, they made me look like I was supposed to like go out and tend to the farm and I am <laughs> not about that lifestyle. No shame to anybody who lives on a farm or anything. I wish I could do that. It was just not the style that I was going for at all. Um, but uh, this sweatshirt, I wanted to keep. I, I'm going to try to save it and sell it. We'll see. It does have some pilling. I don't have one of those scraper things. It's definitely on my list to like save fabric. But um, I picked it up because I love these grandma sweaters that have the mock turtleneck. And they're just like cute. I think it's cats. Little animals. <laughs> like zoo animals on it. I just thought it was cute. You know, that grandma core vibe. Definitely how I try to live my life. <laughs> what I wear. Um, and then these pants. I can't... Oh yeah, Cabin Creek. They're 14 petite. They have pockets in the front. They're just like that stretchy fabric. Somebody cropped them. So they have like frayed ends with the pants. Um, and even though I am pretty short, I'm 5'3", my legs are ridiculously short, these had to have been petite already, because the label said petite. <laughs> uh, but these stopped like below my knee, and I was like, ah, that was not the vibe. I don't like cropped, like, <laughs> calf pants. I don't know, I don't like them on me. So I was like, never mind. So somebody who is shorter or wants that look, can have this. I'm going to post them. Probably list them for like 15 or 20. Um, but yeah, that is everything I got. I got 17 items and I spent a total of $27.52, which brings my cost per item a dollar and 62 cents, which is amazing. I love that for me. I love it when I can make my cost per item super duper low. It's not 25 cents per item by any means. But I picked out these items and I think they're going to sell really well. That is what I got this week. I'm hopefully going to be going to Kansas City tomorrow to check out the Goodwill bins. So hopefully I'll have a video in the near future about my experience going to the bins. And I'll also have a What Sold video this weekend as well. So if you guys want to be notified when I upload those videos, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit that little bell so you get notified every time I upload these awesome videos. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them below in the comments. And hopefully sometime I can make a Q&A video for you guys. So have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Bye.